Welcome to the Take Your Apprenticeship podcast. The Take Your Place team is made up of five universities and nine further education colleges from across the east of England. We are an impartial project dedicated to giving you the information you need, regardless of where you're applying to study. Since 2017, we have worked with over 30,000 students from 100 different schools, colleges and sixth forms, helping them to explore their options and discover their potential. Now we hope to help you too. In this podcast series, we will explore all aspects of finding, applying for and succeeding in an apprenticeship. Through talking to experts and current apprentices from a variety of industries, we will help you explore your future apprenticeship options. In this episode, my colleague Naomi spoke to Nikki Payne, who is the liaison manager for Balfour BT. They discuss what a rail engineer does and the wide range of opportunities working in the rail engineering sector. As with all our conversations in this series, our interviews are recorded remotely, so you might hear some background office and working from home noises. Don't forget to check out the Take Your Place resource website at takeyourplace.ac.uk slash resources for more university and apprenticeship information. I am joined today by Nikki Payne from Belfort BT, who offer a variety of apprenticeship options in construction and engineering. Thank you for joining us today, Nikki. Could you start by telling us a little bit about your role? Yes, hi Naomi. Hello everybody. I am a liaison manager and I'm currently working on a project in Kings Lynn for Kings Lynn Drainage Board. So basically our project provides increased flood protection for 1,500 people and 500 businesses in the local area by replacing the existing pumping station. So my job really is to ensure that we create a positive attitude on the community that we're working within so that hopefully we can leave a lasting legacy. And part and parcel of that is that I go in into schools and colleges and I talk to young people about the exciting world of construction and hopefully inspire them to be part of the innovative and vibrant industry that it is. I also support local organisations and local community in any way that I can. It's a great job and it's every day is different. Wow, that sounds like really valuable work that you do with your company. So I know we're going to focus today, Nikki, on rail engineering apprenticeships that you do at Belfort BT. Would you be able to explain a little bit about the rail engineering industry and what type of jobs there are to do in this area? Yes, Balfour BT is a recognised leader, actually, in modern rail engineering. We work with our clients to improve people's journeys by increasing network capacity, improving reliability and making railways more efficient and sustainable. We provide infrastructure services is across the life cycle of all assets and our expertise covers track, power, electrification, civils, signalling and railway systems and technologies. So some of the major projects that we've been involved with that you might be familiar with are Crossrail, where we designed and implemented major track and electrification improvements. We also modernised Blackfriars Railway Bridge and Station and London Bridge Thames Link, where we modelled and transformed the track to electrification. So there are really lots and lots of different and exciting roles that you can do within rail. You could be a site engineer who manages each element and detail of the construction project. You could be a section engineer who translates plans for railway construction from the page to the ground, a structural engineer who focuses on design, so basically designing framework to hold together and build a structure like a locomotive carriage or to see if a bridge could hold heavier trains, a civil engineer who builds, designs, maintains tracks, stations, bridges and tunnels. Uh, If you have a look on our website, uh, you'll see some of the really exciting projects that we've been involved with and you can see how many opportunities there are available for you within the railway industry. Wow, that sounds really fantastic. What a variation of great things that you've accomplished so far. Thank you so much for telling us about that. In this series, we have spoken a lot about the different levels of apprenticeships that you can apply for. Can you give us an example some of the types of vacancies you offer in rail engineering and the different levels of qualifications? Yes, of course. There are so many opportunities available. We can offer apprenticeships from levels two to six, and we offer paid internships if you decide to go to university. So if you go to university, have a year out, we can we can help you with that. And we can also offer graduate positions after uni. So the different levels of qualifications really depend on the training scheme and the role that you choose. They range from MVQ levels two to five, levels two to three diplomas, HNC, HND, a degree, and also obviously a professional qualification like 
like a chartered surveyor. We have a really diverse range of roles in trade, technical and business areas of our business. So it really depends on what you want to do. Again, a career in railway engineering is not just about the physical on-site jobs on a project. There are very many exciting and varied roles that will support a project that are also office-based. So some of the roles that you could apply for, for example, in railway engineering are a railway groundwork apprentice, planner, construction manager, a quantity surveyor, design engineer or a software engineer. There really are so many diverse areas that you can work within in the railway engineering arena. And you can obviously also support any railway projects with business roles. So you can work within HR, finance and IT. So really anything that you want to do, you can do within this sector. Wow, yeah, there really is such a vast range. And how fantastic to know that you have apprenticeships all the way from level two up to level six. It gives uh, students a lot of options. What are the entry qualification requirements for some of these apprenticeships that you do? especially with a degree in higher apprenticeships? It's really totally dependent on the apprenticeship because the entry level qualifications are obviously linked to the level of the role that you're applying for. So yes, you can definitely apply straight from school if you're studying for a level two or a level three apprenticeship. For a level four apprenticeship and above, you'd need A-levels or a diploma. One of our apprentices actually that we took on on my last project was halfway through her A-levels and she decided that she absolutely wanted to have a career in construction. So she got in contact with us. We invited her to come in for a week's work experience and she totally loved it. We loved her and it really cemented her desire to be part of the industry. So on completion of her week's work experience, we offered her an apprenticeship and she's been with us ever since. Wow, that's fantastic. And what a fantastic opportunity you gave to that student. It just shows what having a bit of initiative and actually reaching out to yourselves can actually do all for any company. That's really, really great. So when an apprentice is on placement for a rail engineering course, what types of situations and experience might they be doing that they they wouldn't necessarily get in a classroom. You basically get to fully immerse yourself in, in the industry that basically is a rapidly advancing industry that uses cutting edge technology. So you get the opportunity to work within different disciplines, such as rolling stock, signaling, electrical, mechanical and telecoms. There are so many different exciting roles and opportunities in railway engineering. And as I've said before, we'll always look at mirroring the modules that you study at college with the job experience. So give the opportunity of studying different people within different disciplines in the project so that you get a really really good idea, not just of, of what you're doing and your trade, but all the other elements that, that make up that project to make up the business. So basically, you'll be able to, to apply everything that you've learned in theory in college with on the job on site experience. Balfour BT are also members of the 5% club. And that means that at least 5% of our population comprises of trainees, apprentices and graduates. And that really does demonstrate our commitment to our young emerging talent. They, we want them all to get the maximum benefit they can from their apprenticeship with us. And as part of the 5% club, they will have the opportunity to network with all the other apprentices within the business. And further down the line, they're encouraged to promote their roles in schools and colleges and to become apprentice ambassadors. Oh, that's really lovely. That's a really lovely project. The fact that they can then network with other people in similar situations and share that experience is wonderful. Exactly. What type of strengths and skills would be ideal for someone choosing to go down this pathway? It's really good to have an interest in the rail industry, but also an interest in fixing and repairing in design or IT. Maths and English are important and STEM subjects are really beneficial. But again, it's all very dependent on the level of apprenticeship and the role that you're moving into. In terms of strengths, we'd look for someone with good written and verbal communication skills, a definite team player, the ability to form good working relationships, to be good at problem solving, to be good at prioritizing workloads. And it's really, really important to have a positive can-do attitude because we can teach you skills, but we really need you to have a positive attitude that makes us want you to be part of our team. Would you recommend trying to get work experience before putting in an application? It's extremely important to get work experience. You're much more likely to get a job if you've got work experience on your CV. And it's the ideal way of learning about the industry that you want to be part of and the role that you want to do. We've got a really good example of a, a young lady who got in contact with us because she wanted a construction apprenticeship. So we invited her to come for a week's work experience. And at the end of that week, although she really enjoyed her 
time with us and we really enjoyed having her there. She decided that a construction apprenticeship wasn't for her. And that's great as well. That, you know, that's that's good for an employer and it's good for the, the young person to, to realise that, you know, maybe that's not the direction they want to go in. But, you know, work experience, yes, do definitely try and get work experience. It really helps with a strong application. All experience is good work experience. And, and if you aren't lucky enough to be able to get relevant work experience within the industry, just get work experience anyway, get any volunteering experience that you can possibly get because it shows an employer that you have the determination and the motivation to work and also that you're someone that could be depended on in the workplace and that you've got some general business awareness. It's also really helpful for you as a person to know the do's and don'ts of the work environment and to be able to identify and develop your skills. It's key as an in into an organisation. Even if at the time they're unable to offer anything, you'll always be top of the pile and front of mind for the next time that they're thinking of recruiting. So as a business with Balfour BT, we, we try and offer experience shattering different areas of the workplace to give a really comprehensive view of the role in the industry. And we offer work experience to year 10s upwards. So we've basically got a young lady currently who's, who's um, working with us. And just to demonstrate the usefulness of work experience, she started off with us last December just to do her, her usual 60 hours work experience. She then decided that she wanted to continue working with us. So we managed to get her a summer placement with us on the project and she still wanted more. So she's now working for, with us for, for one day a week until the end of the year. And we're working really hard to get her an apprenticeship within the business. So it just goes to show how vital it is to get you that foot in the door to a sector and a company that you'd like to work within. Yeah, that's fantastic, Nikki. What great advice there. And it just shows that trying new things is really beneficial for showing us what we do and don't like with two very different situations there. So Balfour BT offer a lot of different apprenticeships. In your opinion, what are the main benefits of doing an apprenticeship? I'm a firm advocate of apprenticeships. I think they're an absolutely fantastic way to learn your trade and begin your career. You get to learn in theory. Everything you learn in theory at college, you can apply to that on-the-job work experience, which is so vital. You earn as you learn, which is fantastic. You get holiday, pension, salary growth. You get support from mentors, which I think is so important that you know, you've know you got people within a business who are, who are there to help you do the best that you possibly can and develop your skills. It helps you develop people skills. It helps you develop knowledge of the industry. It helps you to network with other apprentices. It gives you a great understanding of the area you're working within, as well as other areas of the business. And it gives you an opportunity to progress within the company, I think. Apprentices with Balfour BT also benefit not just from their occupational apprenticeships, but also through broader development of training that includes health and safety, project management, communication, teamwork, leadership and networking. So basically what we're doing is ultimately trying to equip our apprentices with the skills that are required for them to further their careers. Where is the best place to look to see current apprenticeship vacancies? And are there specific times of year when it, certain positions are available? Best place to look is to apply online on our website. So if you apply to balfourbtcareers.com, that basically brings you onto a website which you will put in what role you're looking for, the location, and it will come up with all of the apprenticeships that we've got available. So the apprenticeship window is usually from January and it will usually close at the end of June. Perfect. One of the huge benefits of doing an apprenticeship is a chance to earn a salary and also train. Could you tell us a little bit about the starting salaries that the different apprenticeships that you offer have? I can't really because they're all different and they're obviously based on the role that you're applying for, the experience that you've got and also the, the job location. So I can't really give you any idea of the salaries. What I can say is that Balfour BT offer extremely competitive salaries as well as a great range of benefits. With any apprenticeship, there will be an element of studying as well as being on placement. Could you tell us a bit about how the course works with yourself and the training provider that you use? Well, usually it works that you have um, four days a week on site or in the office and one day a week with the training provider. So we'll always try and mirror um, the on-the-job experience with the module that you're studying at the time. And we also, as I said, like to enable our apprentices to shadow different disciplines within our business so that they can get a really comprehensive 
comprehensive view of the different aspects of the project and the business. In terms of the training providers, we've got ties with the College of West Anglia, West Suffolk College, Anglia Ruskin, Cambridge Regional College, but all different apprenticeships have different training providers. So we'd obviously look at who provides the course for the apprenticeship that we're offering. Could someone doing a higher level apprenticeship with Bell 4 BT expect to be offered a job at the end of their course? Well, all of our apprenticeships are actually permanent contracts. So an apprenticeship with Bell 4 BT is what we hope will be the beginning of a long lasting and very exciting career with us. Lovely. Thank you so much, Nikki. Before you go, do you have any final top tips for someone looking to apply for an apprenticeship? If you have a think about the soft and transferable skills that you have and highlight those skills, so they're the skills like the communication, the good team player and positive attitude to highlight those skills on your application and have evidence that you can back them up with look at the job description tailor your application to fit that job description and make you the perfect person for the job get some work experience as i said before it is so so important and it really helps you to build your cv it helps you to put yourself above your your peers who don't have that work experience and it also helps to back up the skills that you say you have with that work experience i'd also say as much as you can try and polish up on your verbal and written communication skills stress what a positive enthusiastic attitude you have we can basically teach you your trade but it's really important to have that positive attitude that will make you an invaluable member of our team and the other thing i guess is to really research the role that you're applying for and really research the company that you're wanting to be part of you know, research Balfour bt we want to know that you want to to start your career with us and that you want to build your career with us so those are my top top tips really fantastic top tips thank you nikki thank you so much for your time again that was really lovely great talking to you thanks very much naomi thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to our future podcast at soundcloud.com slash take your place or on your favorite podcasting app you can also find us on instagram where we are at take your place underscore he on twitter at take your place he and on Facebook at facebook.com slash takeyourplace he forward slash. You can also email us with any questions, requests, or just let us know what you think on info at takeyourplace.ac.uk.